Yo, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be doing more work with our custom content type. So first off, I wanted to add an image field to our custom content type. So to get back to there, we're going to go to content types. If you remember last time, I added it to my shortcuts. If you didn't add it to your shortcuts, it's under structure. I'm going to click content types, and you'll see projects. We're going to click manage fields. Um, and here we're just going to, actually there's already an image field being used for the articles. So we're going to use an existing field. So image, field image, and you'll notice the widget is selected to image, and we're going to call this um, project image. Cool. And this is actually going to be the very first thing displayed on the page. It doesn't really matter. This doesn't have to do with the display, but I kind of want, actually, Let's say, I'm changing my mind right now. I'm going to put it below project type. I'm going to save this. Okay, and this is the uh, the settings for the field. So, um, the allowed field extensions, we're going to allow pings, gifs, jpegs, whatever. Um, maximum, I don't really care about this. I'm going to be the one uploading all the content, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you could put maximum, minimums, whatever, just to, um, you know, adjust who's who's uploading what and what they can upload. You can also say, okay, I want the preview to be a, thumbl a thumbnail, medium, or large. We're gonna keep this as thumbnail because we don't want a huge giant picture in our preview. Um, of course, well, for this, we're gonna actually say unlimited. Um, this allows us to upload as many photos as we want. In my project, if I wanna have a whole string of photos and uh, talk about them, I wanna be able to do that. So we'll just we'll have this set as unlimited, and the upload destination is our public files folder. Okay, and we do not want a default image for now because I plan on uploading an image every time. However, if you don't, you might want to um, to create some sort of a default image. So we'll click Save Settings. Okay, and now our project image is a part of our content type. Let's go back to our previous piece of content that we created. I'm clicking find content up here and it'll take you. Okay, you can see my first project. Uh, we'll click edit. Okay, so I'm just going to use a screenshot that I uploaded or that I took before to use as an image because, you know, I don't really have any images saved right now. So we'll click this upload. You can see it's right here. Um, for some reason our thumbnail is not showing up. I'll have to investigate that later. But otherwise, um, it's looking pretty good. So let's click save, and it's been saved. Let's click the title to take us to that, and you can see here is our giant image. Okay, and here's label, project type, body text. Okay, well let's say we want to change the order of this, and we don't want this image to be so gigantic. Let's go back to content types, and then let's go to our project, and then manage display. Okay, here it's going to give you all sorts of options. This is the order in which they display. We want the image to be first. Of course, the title is going to be very first, but we want the image to be first. Then we want the body text, and then we want the tags. Also, for the tags, I don't want a label. I want that to be hidden, as well for the image. I don't want that to be uh, displayed. So if you see, there is this label column. You can select inline above hidden. I'm going to select those to hidden, and then format image, default link, but also, if you noticed here to the right, there's a gear here with the image, and it says original image. So that's the what it's displaying as. So if we go to image style, there's going to be several options. We're going to use medium for now. In a later video, I'll show you how to edit these video or these image styles so that you can make your own that are perfectly tailored to what you need them to do. And then you can select if you want the link, uh, the image to anything. You know, I don't want this image to be linked to anything right now, so we'll click update. Okay, as you can see, image style is now set to medium. Well, let's say, what if you didn't actually want the project type to be shown at all? You can actually drag this down here to say hidden, um, and now the format is set to hidden. You could, have, you could have also selected that here to say hidden, and it would have taken it down here for you. Okay, well, we're just going to go save this out. Okay, now if we click back to our, our uh, node here, or our content type, you can see our... our First project piece of content has its title, then the image, and then the body text, and no tags. Okay, well that's it for this lesson. In the next one, we're going to be going over some more display things. We're going to be going over menus. We're going to be going over things like blocks, all sorts of stuff. 
So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave a comment or hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Once again, this is Scott. Thanks for watching. Bye.